Today's daily inspiring community event takes us to see the Chubby Knuckle Choir and Jack Ingram here in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. What better way than to get people together by hosting a live event with music. It's a great easy way to get a lot of people to come out and here in just a few minutes we should be hearing some music from the mountain. So what most inspires you to step on stage every day and do community events like this? Well, it goes back to when I when I went to events like these. You know, I went to uh, Willie Nelson's picnic when I was a kid, and I had to go see Jerry Jeff Walker do festivals in Texas, and uh, I had so much damn fun. It inspired me to want to make music, and then once music got, started getting hard, because it's a business, um, every time I step on stage, I just try and relate back to what why I started in the first place, which, which is I want to have fun, and if I'm having fun, it's contagious. Right on. My name is Rory Smith, man. Rory, oh, yeah. awesome name. I'm Frost. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, brother. So what is important to you about community? Man, getting people who have something to give and getting it to the people who need it. I mean, that was one of the things that helped the community keep strong and stay strong. So that was one of the things that I always grew up in and was always uh, wanting to be a part of. And That's to awesome. Do. Yeah. If you have something going on where people are going to have fun, and enjoy themselves, being able to get together and whether there's it's a diverse group as we have, just being able to show each other that everybody's the same. We all we all have the same loves, we all got the same things going on with each other and I think just the way the makeup of this band is, it shows people that yeah, everybody can get along. We're all one big old big old family, you know, and that's the way it is. You guys got a concert you so thanks yeah. for talking with me. Peace. Have a good one brother. Thank you. Enjoy right. the show. Big loud noise for the Chubby Knuckle Choir. Good afternoon, I'm here with Nikki. She works for the resort. Hi. And this is one of their biggest community events this year. It's bringing a band in and it's giving a free community concert. And after we got to talking, I thought what a cool person to speak with because she knows a lot about what community means. What is your definition? To me, community is a sense of togetherness, a family-like feel. I think Steamboat, the ski resort as a whole, really takes pride pride, excuse me, in the family sense that we have going on here. Right on. We have so many opportunities for kids to come out and have fun. Music is a great way to bring people together as well. What yeah, is your favorite on. piece about the people that come to Steamboat? What do you love most about here rather than any other ski town in America? What I love about here is that everyone is so incredibly friendly. You would think you would have known them for your entire life. Everyone is coming here to find something and everyone is coming to find something different. And I think that's a super cool thing to be around. And if you notice, people with cowboy hats just walk around freely here. It's oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's amazing. You got all sorts of people here. It's so cool. Right on. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for yeah, joining thank me today. Yeah, for sure. And thanks for putting on this awesome community. Yeah, event. for sure. I wanna be a whiskey. Wanna erase her memory. Because you reach for the bottle when you hurt the food. And I wish that was me. She loves you alone That bird gets you through the cold What's in that river that makes you not miss me? That's what I want to be, I want to be You feel the sky Hey, 
Hey, I'm here with Bree Bagwell, and we just got finished with the Steamboat Music Fest. We had a blast. We did. And you're an amazing performer. Thank you. I really I'm done. I love that everybody came out for this from Texas. I think it's a great event. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, it's good because there's community involved. And I'm curious, what does community mean to you? To me? Yes. I'm from a small town in New Mexico, actually. And I feel like I have a wonderful community. And I think they're supportive of me. Even when I was first starting out with music, it was my dream to do music. And, and it's worked out so far, but nobody knew that in the beginning. But my community supported me even in the initial stages. So I think that's what it means to me. It's like unconditional love. They're for 15 years running also, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been time. at it a while now. Nice. <laughs> and you travel all the time. So when you're traveling and you're seeing different communities, mm -hmm. what is the one thing that stands out that Food. makes a great community oh. event? Oh, community event. Yes. I feel like when the local people are excited that you're there, I think that's really neat. And I, it's hard to explain, but I went downtown to eat in Steamboat and a lot of the local bartenders were so excited that we were here and they had been listening to the music and they were all pumped for the event. Nice. And I think when events get their local people involved and excited about what's happening, then it's not like we're coming and crashing y'all's party. It's like we're here and we're welcomed and that's a good feeling. That is a good feeling. Mm -hmm. Now, how, how would you say in terms of having a sold out event, that's a good thing mm -hmm. for the bands. It's a good thing for the promoters. But what about all the locals that want to come that can't get tickets? How do you oh, deal with man. that? Well, I think what was cool yesterday, I played the outdoor stage okay. and they made that event open to the public. Right. And so, and then I played another show tonight that was also open to the public. So I think that that's important to have both ticketed events and stuff that anybody can come to. Right. So know? creating a culture of accessibility. Mm -hmm. for Absolutely. The and also my last question to you would be, what is the most challenging thing about hosting a community event? Oh my goodness, probably money, goodness. <laughs> but you have to have money to promote it, and I think promotion is so difficult, and I think it takes money, and I think it takes people to know what they're doing, which is probably not me. <laughs> so I think getting the sponsorships from the local people is probably the hardest thing, but maybe the most important thing too. Right on. Well, thank you so much mm -hmm. for being willing to take the time. I don't know if that was good insight or not. That is good insight because that's actually in the book that I write called Agile Party. Yeah. It's one of the things I talk about and teach awesome. is how with limited resources, you can get people to show up and not have to waste a bunch of advertising dollars. But there and you go. With Buy literally the book, people. only 700 bucks and two weeks notice, I got 700 people to show up at our event. No Fully way. sponsored everything else. Awesome. Yeah. So that's a dollar ahead. That's pretty inexpensive that's, when it comes to money. Yeah. So that's what I want to teach people is what your point is totally valid. Wonderful. And I think people should Thank be goodness. concerned with that. But they don't have to be that concerned if they get the right advice. Right. Yeah. Winning. <laughs> Thanks, Bree. No problem. Thank you.